Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a fairly short video about this nifty little toy right here, it's the Home Assistant Sky Connect. Full disclosure, this was purchased with my own funds, nobody is paying for this review, it's not a sponsored one, all the opinions are my own. Now, all this device is, is a USB Zigbee coordinator. Now, if you're already thinking that, that yeah, it's okay, I already have a, a son of one or a combi stick or whatever other stick out there, there is a difference. It might be a small one today, but it might become a big one in the near future. Nabucasa promises that future firmware updates will bring matter support to this device. Basically, you're turning your Home Assistant device into a Home Assistant Yellow. So, let's talk about it. We'll even connect it to our Home Assistant and see how it behaves. So, join me. Alright guys, so, this is the packaging and of course, let me show you what comes inside the package. You see the Home Assistant Sky Connect itself and they also include a USB extension cable. Now, this might be a very small gesture, but I think it's a great one. They know, it shows that Nabucasa knows their audience, their customers. They know they, they sometimes stick their Home Assistant device in an odd place where you can't really attach a, a USB thumb drive directly and you need to get it into an angle. A great, a great gesture in my opinion. Now, for scale, this is a regular average size thumb drive and the Home Assistant Sky Connect is not much bigger than that. So, together with the USB extension cable, you got yourself a USB Zigbee coordinator, but the most important thing is for me is looking at the future. If you're in the market for a Zigbee USB stick, look no further because this device will be matter ready in future firmware updates and that's a small up, maybe a small thing today but it might become a big thing in the near future. Much like any other Zigbee USB stick, if you're in the market, make sure you place your home assistant device you attach the Sky Connect to in a strategic place where it can actually reach your Zigbee devices. So other than the very relatively small size compared to a thumb drive and the fact that this will be also matter ready, that's the entire product. And if you connect, when you connect it, I'll demonstrate it in a bit, when you connect it to your, to your uh, USB port on your Home Assistant device, it will automatically show up as ZHA, at least from my knowledge or experience. It, it currently doesn't work with the Zigbee to MQTT, it works with the ZHA, but it works flawlessly. In fact, let's not waste another second, let's go over to the computer and connect our uh, uh, Sky Connect to our home, to my test Home Assistant device, and we'll see how it behaves. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. Actually, we're in a test virtual machine that is on the same VLAN as my test Home Assistant device. Now, this is pretty vanilla. It's a pretty vanilla device. Almost no integrations have been installed, nothing whatsoever. In fact, if we go into the devices menu, you see that I don't even have ZHA installed, nothing. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my a Home Assistant Sky Connect USB dongle and connect it to my Home Assistant device. It takes maybe a minute or two, depending on uh, uh, the horsepower of your uh, Home Assistant device. But after about a minute, you can see right here that the Sky Connect is just popped up with the ZHA integration. And let's click on configure. Let's click on submit and of course I'm starting from scratch so I'm going to select erase network settings and add and form a new network. Alright and actually that all, that's all it took. Click on finish when you select your area and actually the Sky Connect is ready to now uh, uh, pair Zigbee devices. In fact let's click on configure 
And now I'll try to add a device. In this case, it's just a regular uh, uh, Zigbee smart plug. So let's click on uh, add the device. But before that, I'm going to put my device in a pairing mode. All right, so let's click on add the device. And SkyConnect will start searching for Zigbee devices in pairing mode. All right, great. So the SkyConnect found our device. Let's place it in an area. All right, so now let's go back to our devices and see what has changed. All right, so now we see we have two devices under SkyConnect. And in fact, one of them is our Zigbee smart plug. And just as expected, we can toggle the device on and off. It's identified as light, but we can change it into a switch. And if you can hear the click, uh, uh, clicks behind me, it's the device turning on and off instantaneously. This means that our configuration start to finish is working. Now, I have tested this SkyConnect device on a relatively very weak hardware. My test Home Assistant runs on Raspberry Pi 3. I've tested it for about a week to see if there are any quirks or disconnections or any issues and I found a device in this uh, week of testing to work flawlessly. So guys, this has been our review of the uh, Home Assistant SkyConnect. I hope you guys are considering it if you're in the market. It's definitely a great device in my book. Thank you guys for watching. Join me all in the next video. Have a great week.